Fatima. You're just in time. Kara's just about to tell Zach how she feels. Next Wednesday. It's not what I wanted. Get him out of there. Robin, he's leveraged to his eyeball. That's good to know. Will they finally find clarity? As much as I don't want you, I still want you. Or could they unleash emotions? I'm not here to compete with Zach because he can't watch it. They never saw coming. What is wrong with you? Oh, y'all need to get out! Tyler Perry's sisters. All new next week. Okay, sisters fans, first things first, thanks to those who recorded the 30-second promo off your uh, televisions or phones or whatever and sent it my way on Instagram last night. Uh, that was a big help and the reason why. I'm able to get this video done in quick, fast, and a hurry. So, I don't know if I'm going to have it at the beginning of the promo, I mean the video. Sisters has been weird on social media where they'll post a 15-second trailer, but not the 30-minute one, the 30-second one until days later so this will be a culmination of the in credit promo we got last night and the 30 second promo which again i hope they upload on social media by this afternoon that way i can have hd pictures but this preview if you watched my live last night and i actually watched it during the live you saw my reaction i'm not looking forward to this episode um this will be <laughs> the fifth episode in the letter saga because one episode is when Miss Lisa came up with the idea. The next episode, she called the fellas. The next episode, the guys came over. <laughs> and then last night's episode, we had one of two letters uh, read. And then next week, we got the last one read. And then apparently, Karen's going to kick him out. So, yeah, this is some bullshit. Uh, season 5, Episode 7, Ego Trip. Karen adopts a new practice to help her and Zach's situation get better. Danny is put in a very uncomfortable situation with her new guy friend. Let's talk about the back half first. Danny is put in a very uncomfortable situation with her new guy friend. Um, We see Jonah apparently all up in her face, I don't know, trying to give her tongue or something, and Danny's not feeling it. So we see her in the bathroom talk with Andy on the phone. I don't know what's going on with me. Andy's like, just call Preston, girl. And, and and what? I don't want you to get... And what? Say what? I don't want you to get married. I'm not going to do all that. But then uh, I don't know exactly what Danny says to, you know, Jonah in the bed because I couldn't get the audio to, you know, adjust right. But Andy's like, um, get him out of there. So we know that um, Danny ain't feeling Jonah. And look, that's the thing. And I, I need to be very careful when I say this, because I mentioned this during my live, and I'm probably going to say it again when I do my episode review. This is the first video I'm recording today, but Danny kind of put herself in that situation, I, I, because Jonah made it clear up front what his intentions were and what he was hoping to get from buying those drinks, and she was the one that brought him home with her. Now, it would have been completely different. That's the thing about last night's episode. It felt like there were wasted scenes. And then there were scenes that weren't shown, like, was Danny not, you know, willing to bring him home, but she kept following, but, I mean, he kept following her. That doesn't seem to be the case, given how, you know, easily he gained access into the apartment, so it seems like Danny was cool bringing him home. And by doing so, you know, you kind of know where the next thing was going. So, apparently he's small, and that's why she wasn't feeling it, and I don't know. I'm just not interested or invested in this story. My thing is this. I still don't like the idea of Preston chasing after Danny, but it just seems weird that it's so it seems okay for Danny to just date around, explore her options to figure out what she wants. But Preston, whenever he's with another woman, Zach's advice or not, she gets in her feelings about it. How the hell does that make sense? All right. So that's all I got to say about the Danny stuff. I mean, like I said, we only got two brief scenes. Um, in the preview showcasing her now going to andy who was on the phone with uh danny she's at the penthouse and i'm like oh wow she's actually alone so she didn't go to meet with robin and she's not meeting with gary guess what gary comes over to the fucking penthouse again and andy's all smiling i don't know or i don't, I, don't, I don't know i'm just okay i have nothing to say on this it just seems like we're going down the same route as always why am I not surprised? But pre-Penthouse, I suppose, we're at a scene in a bar. 
Hayden's talking with um, Gary about Robin. You know, Robin, he's leveraged to his eyeballs, fronting like he's big shit. And Gary's like, oh, that's good to know. So, you know, Hayden must be doing research, and I guess, I guess Robin isn't the big shot that he claims to be. But then again, I don't know. With Hayden, keep in mind, this is the guy who believed Robin was gay when he was pretending to be gay. So, you know, Hayden... It's hard to tell. Robin might be feeding him evidence that he thinks he's gaining on his own. It's like, you know, it's like when they say celebrities or, you know, uh, big companies, they post rumors or spoilers about themselves to get traction online so people will talk about them. I feel like Robin's possibly doing the same thing just to set up Hayden because one of the clues that some people thought about was think of it this way. Remember, Robin said Hayden's under investigation and Hayden, you know, is the in-between man where Robin's like, you know what, Gary? I think everything that goes on between us work-wise needs to go through Hayden. I just feel like, you know, it's one of those things where he's a lot. What's that expression? Expression. Robin is giving Hayden more and more rope to hang himself with. And I feel like that's a bad analogy when you consider the same actor. Robin played Willie Earl and what happened to Bayou and Jazzman's Blues. Oops. But it's a perfect analogy. All right. Um, then you have a moment where Calvin, uh, I, I guess he's catching Q getting high or he's drunk. We see him with a bunch of, uh, you know, red cups. What is wrong with you? Again, I, I don't, I don't care about this storyline at all, but I feel like, um, we all know what you want me to talk about. And that's Karen reading the letter. As Zach and Fatima just have to sit there and endure this shit. The look on... Okay, let me just say this. During the end credit promo where Tyler did like a, you know, a close-up shot of Zach and Fatima while Karen's reading the letters, I think that was pretty clever. It's kind of like um, back when he did a close-up of Gary when he was talking to Aaron about the car, the penthouse, the clothes. The, that, that was for us. Like, it, it really shows the intensity of these characters. And at first, I thought he did a close-up on Karen, but no, it was actually just Zach and Fatima. But this letter thing, I thought this would be the thing to really like, okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. But it turns out, not a damn thing is changing. I want to be done with you, but now with this baby, you might always be in my life. And I don't know if I could do that. I'm ready for you. <laughs> oh, hang on. As much as I don't want you, I still want you. I just love during this scene, Zach is just looking, you know, he kind of easy to teary-eyed or irritated. Fatima's just rolling her damn eyes. And I'm, I'm just like, I, in her mind, it's like, what the hell are we sitting through this for? Now, we get to a point where Aaron is like, I'm not here to compete with Zach. Zach's like, because you can't. Aaron's like, watch it. And I feel like instead of us getting to a point where we get Zach getting to speak, even Fatima expressing what's been going on with Karen to Miss Lisa. We see like Miss Lisa, you know, holding Karen's shoulders like, it's going to be okay, baby. Just, yeah, because she even tells Fatima, it's like, oh, you're just in time. Karen was about to tell Zach how she feels. Again, this is some bullshit. Look, Miss Lisa, you're not Oprah. I get that you watched her. I get that you, you know, learned a lot from her. But, but this ain't a talk show. The only talk show that this group what people needs to go on is Maury for the DNA test results. This letter thing ain't nothing. All right. Because I feel of nothing else, Zach and Aaron, as uh, Ms. Lisa said, will display toxic masculinity. Karen's going to get upset. And again, due to the audio, I couldn't really tell exactly what she said. But I know she said, get out! That's how it's going to end. Basically, it's going to get to a point where she's going to get upset. Everybody has to leave. And nothing was accomplished. Absolutely nothing but wasting our freaking time. We wasted over a month with this letter shit and it ain't gonna change. But then later that night, Zach and Fatima are in bed. Fatima's like, Karen was investing in you for a much larger return, the one that I'm getting right now. And that, the the ending has a lot of people feeling different ways. Like, oh, here we go. Fatima's throwing the Karen thing in Zach's face again when they get home. Can't, uh, for some reason, Zach gets in his feelings telling you know aaron you can't compete and it's like if you're over karen why would you even say that i'm i don't know this episode is called ego trip but this is one trip i want to return my ticket for because i don't even want to watch it and look i get it if you're like well don't watch it it's my job 
I don't want to do it. I, I trust him leave. I, I just want to throw my hands up and take like a, a few weeks off from sisters because I'm just not feeling it anymore. I mean, the crossover bit with uh, Madam and Angela was good, but it was just a rating stunt. I don't know what to feel anymore about this show. It just feels like this is easily, you know, you, you know how I said last season, man, it's a toss up between four and three for which one is the worst season. We're six episodes in season five is easily the worst season of sister so far. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.